Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again, and I'm here to share my comparison between the Mi 10T Pro and the Realme X7 Pro. Now when thinking about which phones I wanted to put next to this Mi 10T Pro, the first one that really came to mind was this Realme X7 Pro. And this phone really is approaching things in a very different philosophy as this Mi 10T Pro. You could really argue that this Realme X7 Pro is the direct competition to what we see in the K30 Ultra. And yet with its imminent release in Europe, this phone is going to be available very soon for purchase and then we'll be going in direct competition with phones like the Mi 10T Pro and the rest of the Mi 10T series. Now this is not meant to be an exhaustive comparison but I really do want to discuss what is the difference between these phones and what is the best strategy in terms of an affordable flagship in 2020 that we want to see from companies. Let's have a look. So first, let's go down the spec list here, but in terms of design, 218 grams versus 184, 9.3 millimeters versus 8.5 millimeters, and you can clearly see where all of that weight is going. Aluminum Edge and Gorilla Glass 5 on the back, while here on the Realme X7 Pro, we are using plastic. And guys, I think here is where the big contrast between these phones is. The build quality of the Mi 10T Pro is just so much better than the one of the Realme X7 Pro. This truly feels like a flagship phone and this Realme X7 Pro does not. But there are benefits to using plastic and the Realme X7 Pro is far lighter. It will be a much more comfortable daily use than this Mi 10T Pro, which I did say in my con section in the review may be considered a bit heavy for most users. And I've gone ahead and switched to the wallpaper here on the Mi 10T Pro with a 6.67 inch display, 6.55 on the Realme X7 Pro, and a significantly smaller chin here on the Realme X7 Pro. While at the top, they're actually very similar, and the punch hole is nearly identical on both of these phones. But herein lies the very different philosophy between the Mi 10T Pro and this Realme X7 Pro. Xiaomi's opted for the highest refresh rate, albeit LCD display on this phone, while the Realme X7 Pro is a 120Hz AMOLED display. And let me tell you guys, this is easily the champion feature of this phone. I think this is the one key area where Realme has an advantage and being able to offer not just a high refresh rate but being able to offer it with an AMOLED display I consider the gold standard of refresh rate and screen technology on a phone. Now like I mentioned in yesterday's video for a lot of you guys you're not going to be a fan of this display but I really do believe the majority of users understand that AMOLED is the better choice between these two and that explains really why we see so many flagship phones using AMOLED displays and not LCD. Now don't get me wrong, the LCD display on the Mi 10T Pro is stunning, it is one of the best on any phone, but personally guys I would be much happier using the 120Hz AMOLED display on the Realme X7 Pro over the one on the Mi 10T Pro. But in terms of performance, it's a different story. The Mi 10T Pro has the best chipset on the market here with the Snapdragon 865, while the Realme X7 Pro is using MediaTek's finest, the Dimensity 1000 Plus. And this phone can score in the 500,000 range if it's on performance mode. But in the standard mode, you're gonna get a score very similar to what we see here like on the K30 Ultra with eight gigs of DDR5 RAM versus eight gigs of DDR4X and UFS 3.1 versus 2.1 storage. In my experience guys, the Mi 10T Pro has been one of the slickest implementations of MIUI 12 on any phone, and yet there's no denying that Realme UI is a much lighter software skin. Now you could argue this is a much more bland, a really type of basic software skin with not that many flourishes, but that is the reason why Realme UI actually works really fluidly. And once you factor in that 120Hz refresh rate, this Realme X7 Pro is performing I would say as good as this Mi 10T Pro, despite having the slightly lower level chipset. And in terms of batteries, we have a 5,000 milliampere capacity on the Mi 10T Pro, while the Realme X7 Pro is rocking a 4,500 milliampere capacity, 33 watt fast charging versus 65 super dart fast charging. And alongside the AMOLED display technology, I think the fast charging is the other key spec that differentiates this phone from the Mi 10T series. If you value charging your phone from zero to 100 in under 40 minutes, you're gonna get it here on this Realme X7 Pro. And Realme 
is still leading the charge, I feel, the entire BBK family of phones, and we are now seeing this 65 watt charging even on the OnePlus 8T. The 10T Pro is no slouch in terms of charging, but it just still can't reach the heights of the Realme X7 Pro. Dual speakers on both of these phones, Bluetooth 5.1 versus Bluetooth 5.0, and both of these phones have the latest comm specs, including the latest Wi-Fi 6, and are both 5G capable handsets as well. And last but not least, in terms of cameras, we have the flagship 108 megapixel main camera here on the Mi 10T Pro, with the regular Mi 10T opting for a 64 megapixel. Now I think it's the IMX 682 if I'm not mistaken. Meanwhile, the Realme X7 Pro is using the IMX 686 64 megapixel main camera with 13 versus 8 megapixel ultra wides and no telephoto lenses on these phones. We have a 5 megapixel macro camera and the X7 Pro also opts for those garbage 2 megapixel macro and depth cameras with 4K 60 video capability on both of these phones, but 8K 30 FPS on the Mi 10T Pro. So that's it guys, just a quick rundown of the specs here. And now I really just want to talk about what is the decision process between what Xiaomi is doing versus what Realme is doing and which of these strategies do I think is going to win out in the end. Now this Mi 10T Pro is one of the most beautifully built phones in its price segment and I think Xiaomi's strategy here is to really offer a flagship level experience in every facet of this phone. But you may ask, Frankie Tech, LCD is not a flagship feature. Well, I would beg to differ here and I do think that Xiaomi feels that this display, albeit using LCD display technology, is one of the best displays that they've put in a phone. And I happen to agree with the quality aspect of this story. It is a terrific display and if you really don't mind screen technology, you are getting probably a better quality LCD than you are getting a better quality AMOLED display on this phone. And meanwhile, Realme's strategy, I feel, is to try to undercut other aspects of the phone and yet still offer what they think are the key features of a great affordable flagship in 2020, which means including an AMOLED display and a higher refresh rate as well. But this is one of those rare circumstances where the build quality and just the experience of using the phone in hand really does make a difference. And I think that Realme may have undercut themselves a little bit too far when it comes to build quality. Now I get it, if you put a case on a phone, it won't matter, but there's just something about this device, despite having my preferred display and technology, that just feels so much cheaper. It's just the build quality, guys. I feel like the Mi 10T Pro feels more like a flagship phone in many key areas like performance, battery life, build quality and design, that it really comes down to a conclusion that it's everything on this phone but the display technology that I truly believe is uncompromised flagship level. Meanwhile, on the Realme X7 Pro, you're giving up build quality, the slightly lesser named Dimensity 1000 Plus, lower RAM and storage capabilities, and cameras that, while good, I don't think reach the heights of the cameras on the Mi 10T Pro. And so it's gonna come down to your preference. How much do you value having a high refresh rate AMOLED display? And is it worth giving up a lot of those flagship features that this Mi 10T Pro has in spades? I think in many ways, while I'd be probably happier with the display on the Realme X7 Pro, I think as an overall phone and experience, I give the edge here to the Mi 10T Pro. And I'm surprised to say it because I really do think display technology is so important on a phone. If this had been a low quality LCD display, I think it's a no contest, the X7 Pro wins it. But once you factor all the other aspects of this phone and this really terrific overall experience, I just think you're getting more phone and a better overall experience right here on the Mi 10T Pro. But hit me up in the comments, Mi 10T Pro or Realme X7 Pro? Which of these two phones would you pick? And do you think the Realme X7 Pro wins it because it's using an AMOLED display? Hit me up in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Rangi Tech, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for future updates. Really tough decision here to make between these two phones. They are both great devices and we'll wait and see when the Euro pricing comes out for the X7 Pro. Realme still has a chance to undercut the Mi 10T series. And if they're able to bring this phone for under 500 or maybe even 400 euros, starting price, I think they will have a really great winner in their hands in this Realme X7 Pro. So thanks for watching guys, I do appreciate it. And that's it, this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech, signing off. Have a good one.